Hey everybody, Kevin Tatcher, the founder and CEO at Independence Title. That's right, the chief everything officer here with a chat GPT alert. You know chat GPT, artificial intelligence, open AI. We love to ask it questions and see what it has to say. So today we asked it, how do you choose the right title company? We're gonna spit out a couple of answers. We're gonna talk about each one and see what if uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT knows what they're talking about. So number one, they said start with research. You wanna make sure you're asking people you know, you like, and you trust who they recommend. Do not just rely on that real estate agent you called that you don't know anything about. Reach out to people you know, ask them, who have you done business with? Who have you used before to handle your closings? And do a little research online to see who they are and see what they are about. You wanna make sure you do your own homework. Bullet number two, oh, this is a good one, is licensing. We get asked all the time about our licensing. You can go, it's public record in the state of Florida. Actually, if you go to our website and you click on our staff profiles, you will see our licenses are all attached right to our profiles. So full disclosure, everything's up front. You wouldn't believe how many title companies are operating with invalid licenses or claims and fines against their license. I see the report every single month of what people are doing, the things that they're not doing, suspended licensing. Um, you know, we see tons of claims. We see the authorities getting involved. So you wanna make sure not only you do your research that they're reputable, but you wanna make sure you do the research that they are a licensed company. Third one is experience. Now, this is a big one. We've been in business now this year, July uh, of 2023, is going to be 20 years in the title business. 20 years that I've had the independence title open. Uh, this is very, very, very important when you're picking someone, just like you're picking your real estate agent, your mortgage broker. Do you wanna pick someone who just got their license? Do you wanna pick someone who has only closed a couple of deals, maybe one deal a month, one deal every other month? Or do you wanna pick someone who is closing 50, to 125 deals every single month, month over month, year over year for the last 20 years. So it's very, very important to make sure you're gonna pick someone that has the experience. Someone like myself, you can look at our YouTube channel that talks all about everything, title insurance and real estate. Most title companies and most employees at title companies cannot talk about title insurance properly. So you wanna make sure you're dealing with a title company who not only the owner can talk about title insurance, maybe the attorney, but the employees understand the product that they are selling. It is very, very important. It's almost like hiring a real estate agent that never bought a house for themselves. They've never gone through the experience. You wanna do business with someone that has gone through the experience. Number four, fees. Now we have full disclosed fees. We have uh, our closing cost calculator, the Florida closing cost calculator.com right on our website. You can access that and all of our fees are fully disclosed. One of the unique things you'll see with a lot of title companies, people will call us all the time and say, well, your fee's kind of high. And I'm like, yes, well, our fee is one fee and it includes everything. We don't break down all of these junk fees. So when you actually break down all of the junk fees and you total it up, we're actually cheaper than almost every other title company in town. Very, very important to not only look at the settlement fee, but you wanna make sure you are looking at all charges, anything they may be charging, increasing invoices, courier, wiring, FedEx, scanning, all of these exam fees, attorney fees, doc prep fees, fees after fees after fees. It makes me sick sometimes. So you wanna make sure you're dealing with the title company. We have a flat rate closing fee and that's it. We don't charge any other junk fees. We believe in one fee plus title insurance and we close the deal. So very, very, very important. Check the closing cost calculator, compare it with other people in the industry. Whoever you're working with, always get a second and a third quote just to see are the fees comparable and then call the title company and discuss it. If it's someone you've done business with before, say, hey, I see this title company gave me a quote and then boom, 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 these are all the fees and have that conversation with them so you could see what it looks like and understand what are they charging you for and how does it compare to the competition. Communication, communication is a very, very important one because communication, you have to realize, depending on how many employees they have, sometimes you're hiring a law firm, maybe they have one paralegal, paralegals out to lunch, and you can't get a hold of anyone to handle your closing. So again, super, super important that communication is important. You should be dealing with a title company, I will always say the magic number three, a title company that has at least three employees plus the owner around, or the, the real estate attorney, a paralegal, and some processors, three people, because that means typically they're not all out to lunch, 
lunch. They're not out sick. They're not all on vacation together. You're always going to be able to get somebody. You wouldn't believe how many times we need to call another title company for something and we can't get a hold of them. There's nobody there. You leave a message and they get back to you two days later. When you call our office, we have everyone here answering the phones. The voicemails go, get translated right to their email and everyone sees it. So we get to be able to respond immediately if there's an urgent question, an urgent issue, you get someone on the phone and we will handle it. So again, you want to make sure, just like ChatGPT is saying, communication is key. Make sure you're dealing with someone that has enough staff to be able to communicate effectively because remember, you are the consumer. If they're not communicating with you properly, that's a problem. You want to make sure you're getting excellent communication as you deserve to get. Number six, availability. Again, we talked about that one in just this last one, but you want to make sure there's someone that's available. You know, when we do our online closings, a lot of people ask us, you know, are, are you going to charge us extra for the notary? And we're like, no, we're going to send someone to you. And if we do an online notarization, we do it ourselves. We don't outsource it to a third party. We make ourselves available. We go out to all of the networking events and speak at them. We speak at all the real estate clubs, all the real estate boot camps. We are accessible and available. I give everyone as the owner my personal cell phone. If you are a real estate agent and your title company is not giving you the owner's personal cell phone to text them or call them whenever you need them or you have a problem or a question, shame on them. You should have as much access to the owner of the company as you do anyone else. Very, very, very important to make sure that they are accessible at all times. And the seventh one, this is a good one, connects kind of to licensing a little bit, but insurance. Insurance is super, super important nowadays. Not just errors and omissions insurance anymore. You know, for many years, I mean, I've been doing this 20 years, we've been required to maintain uh, errors and omissions insurance, a fidelity bond and a surety bond. But there is so much more that needs to be. Now, with all of the wire fraud and cyber crimes, ENO insurance, which stands for errors and omissions, does not always cover cyber crime issues. So you want to make sure you have a company that has an extra cyber crimes policy. That policy is more than my errors and omissions insurance. It's five, ten thousand dollars a year, depending on how much coverage you buy. A lot of title companies cut corners. So you want to make sure you get a copy ahead of time. Ask them up front, can we get a copy of your errors and omissions insurance and your cyber liability insurance? Because when you need it, they're not gonna provide it to you. And that's typically the story of what happens. You get a, a wire fraud claim or, or an issue, and then you call them for a copy of the insurance and they don't give it to you. Ask for it up front. Get a copy of their license, get a copy of their errors and omissions insurance, and get a copy of their cyber liability policy. A lot of people that follow me on social media know we were just at Nova um, College. We were in the cyber war room. They got this cyber war room, which is amazing. Infiltrating uh, networks and, and talking about cyber fraud and cyber liability and how do you as a team better educate your, your, your skill set to make sure that your clients and you are not a victim of cyber fraud and cyber liability claims. So again, make sure you're dealing with someone, but check their insurance, someone that can speak on the topic of cyber liability and someone that is looking out for you and your money, because when your money gets stolen, that's when you're gonna have a problem. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial about what ChatGPT has to say about how to choose the right title company. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, that's right, Chief Everything Officer here at Independent Title. And I genuinely hope when you have the choice for your title company, you pick the real estate rock stars here in South Florida because we can handle your real estate closing from the keys to the panhandle. Anywhere in the state of Florida, we look forward to seeing you at the closing table. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.